What's up guys, thanks for stopping by, I hope you're doing good. So if you're like me, you've probably played a lot of Valheim by this point, and you're probably eagerly awaiting new content. We covered in a previous video what might be coming in the Mistlands, but what might be coming after that? Well, in today's video, we're going to be exploring the next most obvious biome to get an update after Mistlands. I hope you enjoy it, let's jump into it. Well, much like Mistlands, Ashland is a biome that's not yet finished, but because of the unique way the developers have made the game, it's already there to explore. Looking at the roadmap for 2021 that the developers have released we can see that there's a relatively long list of updates coming to the game that we haven't yet seen this year so it's extremely unlikely for an ashlands update to come anytime soon which kind of makes things more interesting because we can get a sneak peek of what might be coming to the game next year so if you want to find an ashlands all you have to do is keep traveling south here's where it is on the map this biome essentially acts like the south pole to every seed so as long as you travel south far enough you'll always find it and you can actually see once you reveal it on the map it actually shows up as being bright red here's what it looks like from a boat when approaching it it kind of looks like shallow hilly plains almost like a sandy desert with sand dunes except instead of sand it's ash once you enter the biome you get this really cool kind of golden particle effect that almost looks like it's snowing embers which is really cool once you're inside the biome i actually feel like it has one of the coolest looks of any biome in the game already it has this kind of cool purple hazy sky and jet black ashy ground combined with the white clouds and the glowing embers falling from the sky this is such a cool look in my opinion it all looks very volcanic which is really interesting because as of yet there are no volcanoes in valheim so it's going to be interesting to see if maybe we do get some kind of volcano or volcanic tight feature added to the game whatever that may be because it would be super fitting for this biome anyway as well as the ashy plains there's also these gray sort of rocky mountains slash hills they're not quite as big as mountains but not much of ashlands is super flat and the steeper hilly areas have these little gray rocky looking parts as for what you can actually find in ashlands the main thing you can find are certlings and you can also find flame metal the certlings randomly spawn seemingly at pretty much any location as long as it's within the ashlands biome and they do actually infinitely respawn even with seemingly no spawner around even if you clear out a whole area of certlings if you come back later they will respawn pretty quickly as for the flame metal it spawns in these giant round blobs on the ground that almost just look like a big blob of lava has actually been thrown out of a volcano and it's just sort of set in a spherical shape on the ground when you're first approaching this flame metal it's usually surrounded by certlings sometimes higher level certlings but when you kill them they don't seem to respawn at a higher rate than they do anywhere else at least from my experiments anyway and then you can actually mine the flame metal with a pickaxe look if you have flame metal or that you can then smell in a blast furnace just like you do with black metal and it will actually chuck out a flame metal ingot this is really cool but this material cannot yet be used for any recipes in the game so as of right now it is not of any use but it is a clear indicator that at some point in the future we are definitely going to be able to craft things out of flame metal which my guess would at least include weapons such as swords and axes and maybe even some sort of armor so again super cool that we can get this sneak peek into potential new content especially considering that it's probably a year out at least now even though this biome is not yet finished and we're essentially dealing with future content here you might ask is it useful well if you actually place a portal down in your base and then another portal somewhere in the ashlands it actually can be incredibly useful because the certlings infinitely respawn and they have a chance of either dropping coal or cores you can actually just constantly farm certlings they die with one hit and they deal very little damage so not only can you farm for an infinite amount of coal and an infinite amount of cores but you can also use this farming process to level up any skill you want to level up such as swords or axes or whatever and again because they infinitely respawn this is a infinite source of coal and an infinite source of cores so you'll never have to go and find new burial chambers ever again and you'll never have to spend an entire day just chopping down tree after tree after tree and then waiting to smell it in the kiln you can actually get a lot of coal in a very short period of time and this is 
much more fun than chopping down trees. I will also add that once you actually get to Ashlands, it's very, very safe. There can be a lot of Sirtlings, but they deal very little damage. So providing you have a long ship, which essentially keeps you completely safe from Serpents because it can totally outrun them and it can take a lot of damage. From the safety of a long ship, the journey to the Ashlands is very safe. All you've got to do is just keep sailing south until you get there. And once you do, make sure you've got a portal already placed in your base, of course, before you set off. So when you arrive in Ashlands, so put your portal straight down and boom infinite coal and infinite cores this is a really fun activity to do in the game but just grinding for xp and grinding for coal and cores and it's something a little different that not everybody will be doing so if you haven't checked out ashlands already i would highly recommend you do so it's a lot of fun good luck on your viking adventures and have fun grinding those sirlings all right guys that's just about going to do it for this one thanks for watching to the end i hope you enjoyed this video i am actually streaming almost every day live right on this youtube channel and also also live on Twitch. I'll leave a link in the description to that. Also, I'm not yet a YouTube partner or a Twitch partner. So if you would like to support the content financially, there's a link in the description to my Patreon and there is a donation link as well. I make a lot of Valheim content, including a ton of guides and speedruns. I currently have the world record for the Valheim New Game Plus Random Seed Glitchless All Bosses speedrun. So if you like the sound of that, leave a sub for future content. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. I share some love for your fellow Vikings in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time, have a good one.